Hi, good evening. I am Palm Praise 2, and I like to welcome you to an evening read here on Palm Praise 2. For this evening, we are going to go ahead and get into Con After Dark, the ultimate Q&A, part one and two, here on Palm Praise 2 for you. Now, why is the Honorable Louis Farrakhan so important? Hmm? Before I get into this read for you, Certainly, peace and blessings be upon you and your family this evening. Now, y'all, we have went through all of this part right here already here on Palm Praise 2. And just this much to go. Okay? Let us go ahead and get into this read I have for you. We're going to pick it up with YKTD, which is Young Khan to Don, Okay? And it reads as such. He could recite. I'm talking about Master Farad Muhammad. He could recite history day by day, week by week, month by month, year by year, for 150,000 years back, not missing a day. He had the collective knowledge of all of the 12 major scientists. Each one of them taught him everything that they knew. So his collective knowledge became superior to all of their individual knowledge. You with me, right? Huh? He then becomes the new supreme being to rule another cycle of history. But his wisdom, his knowledge... His understanding is so powerful and so great and so extensive that his wisdom goes all the way back to the originator of the heavens and the earth and before him. Oh, you don't hear that? I'll say that one more time. I'm talking about a human being. I'm talking about a man that got so much knowledge wisdom and understanding that he is born now to be able to perfect the universe itself. And Elijah Muhammad is the first man that he raised up from the black man and woman in America. That's why the Bible calls him Elijah, the first begotten of the dead. The first of those that slept. And that's why the brothers that we talked about earlier, the ones who you notice were different and getting all of the respect are called the fruit of Islam. Speaking to a viewer about a book he was holding up, if you really want the real deal, just get the book called Message to the Black Man. Then get the book Fall of America. Oh, and then get Our Savior Has Arrived. The Flag of Islam. And every book by the Honorable Elijah Muhammad you can find. Get Closing the Gap by the Honorable Louis Farrakhan. All of this that I'm teaching you is what I've been learning from them for the last 30 years of my life. That's why I can sit here and talk to you without a note in front of me. I don't need no notes. You can't even think of the question that I ain't got the answer. Four. If I don't have the answer, all I got to do is pick the phone up. All I got to do is go to one of these books or another student of these teachings and I can get the answer. 
because I'm eating off the plate of God himself. Brother Ben, he got some off the plate. Young Khan the Don got some off the plate. Oh yeah, 19 Keys got some off the plate. Oh man, we all getting, excuse me. Oh man, let me repeat that one more time. Twice here on Poem Praise 2 for you. Oh man, we all eating from the wisdom. And as we get this wisdom, this wisdom begins to unleash the God that's sitting up in you. Now you start to get knowledge of self. The knowledge of God and the knowledge of the devil. So Master Farah Muhammad came among us here in North America starting in 1910. He came in and out of North America for 20 years before making himself known in and out. He lived with white families. He lived with black families. So when he saw us, he came to New York. They saw he sat on the curb when he saw the condition of the black man and woman. And he just cried because we had been destroyed by our open enemy. He made his way to Detroit, to an area called Black Bottom, Detroit, in 1930, on July the 4th. 1930, to be exact. He came to declare our independence on the Independence Day of the Caucasians. And 90 years later, the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan gave his speech called the Criterion on July the 4th, 2020. Master Farah Muhammad began to teach in 1930, of all of what I'm telling you now, he came without observation. He slipped in among white folks. So when they saw him, he appeared to be a white man. But he wasn't white. Arabs weren't everywhere when he appeared like they are now. So to us, he most definitely Look like a white man in 1930. Master Farad Muhammad. Why is he called master? Hmm? Because he mastered the wisdom of the universe. Why is he called Farad? Because Farad means one whom you are obligated to obey. Whew. That's a cold name right there. Farad means one who you are obligated to obey. Whether you want to or not, the man is called Master of the Day of Judgment, in which we now live. He controls the thinking of the people. If he doesn't want you to think certain thoughts, he can alter your thoughts. He can tune into you. He can Tap into you. In fact, when Malcolm X was in prison, Malcolm X said that while sitting in his jail cell, think about this for a minute. He said an image appeared. This is Malcolm X in his autobiography saying that when he was sitting in his jail cell, he saw an outline of an image of somebody sitting on the edge of his bed. And then the image disappeared. When Malcolm got out of prison, he visited the Honorable Elijah Muhammad. 
and the Honorable Elijah Muhammad had the picture of Master Farad on the wall. And when Malcolm X looked up and saw the picture, Malcolm said, That's the man I saw, sitting on my bed in my cell in prison. But in the movie, Spike Lee didn't make the image to be Master Farad Muhammad. He made the image to be Elijah Muhammad because they want to keep Master Farad Muhammad a secret. They also want to keep Elijah Muhammad a secret because the word Elijah means God, my God. So the book says in the book of Malachi 4, 5 through 6, Behold, before that great and dreadful day of the Lord. Hold on a second. Let me get it for you. I want to get that thing just right so people don't think I'm making it up. Doing some abracadabra, hocus pocus over here. Let me see. It's in the book of where is that thing at? Y'all help me out. Malachi. Let me find Malachi real quick. So I hope I ain't wasting your time, my brother. I hope it's making some sense to you. H-T-O-C. It's deep, man. Y-K-T-D. Oh, yeah. I'm going to give you the head buster tonight. Don't worry about it. So if anybody asks you from now on, I want you to say you are with Brother Khan. Hey, man. Y'all leave my man alone now. It's me and him now. Y'all didn't know what to do with him. Y'all wanted to troll him and tell him to get off of Instagram Live. Y'all wanted to take his head. No. I want his head too, but I want his head to put some wisdom in it. I bet he won't forget this lie. This is the man's very first lie he did on Instagram. Is that right? H-T-O-C. Yeah, right. Smiling is in parentheses. YKTD. Bet you ain't going to forget that one. No, no, no. You ain't going to forget this live, bro. As a matter of fact, I'm going to save it. I might even turn it into a book because it's so much in here. HTOC. And it's crazy because when you hear the truth, you get to piece together your journey and what you've experienced in bits and pieces. And you're like, damn, this was the truth all along. But we just get it in parts while growing up. You know what I'm saying? Especially with somebody like me coming from Belize. When I'm looking back into what they taught us from different histories and stuff. If you put the timelines together, it's crazy, you know? And I'm going to end this take right there here on Poem Praise 2. Stay tuned. We'll be picking it up with YKTD for our next take coming out of Khan After Dark, the ultimate Q&A, part one and two. And why is the Honorable Louis Farrakhan so important, so important? Excuse me. But I certainly want for you to be well, to be safe, to be blessed. And it be at thy will. I'll speak with you soon here on Palm Praise 2. So until next time. Later, y'all.